children growing up aspire to be All Blacks. Oh, I think it's uh, the heart and soul of New Zealand. I know how much the team meant when I was six years old, getting up in the middle of the night to watch the All Blacks play. When they're in the All Black team, they've been passed on the responsibility of that black jersey with the silver fern. It's their time, it's their time in that jersey, and it's their responsibility to enhance the legacy. Oh, better men make better All Blacks. That's really about self-improvement. And it's not only about rugby, it's about life. Young men driving together to produce something that they're proud of. I think it just encompasses that idea of you can always be better whether it's off the field or on the field and if you have that characteristic then you'll be a great All Black. Good people make great teams and people that uh, aren't very nice, although they might be superstars, we don't want them. It's about sustaining a culture of success. Week in, week out, year in, year out. Think the best team in the world, that's our goal. If you recognise how much of an honour it is to pull on that the black jersey, then the jersey will let you do things that you wouldn't have thought possible. As All Blacks, you're expected to win. Does it give us any advantage to the market? Without question. It's about going to battle with your friends and your mates, standing shoulder to shoulder. It's not only about playing great rugby on the rugby field, it's about how these young men conduct themselves off the pitch. That humbleness, keeping your feet on the ground, realising that you can get better all the time. The legacy of the jersey is more intimidating than any opposition and the key thing for us as past All Blacks is to make sure that legacy continues. I'm just very grateful that I got to spend as many years playing you know, for a team that I loved. You know, the last hundred years the All Blacks are the most successful sporting team ever and long may that continue.